Hi, and welcome to my video. Today, I'm going to be installing Cobb's charge pipe onto my 2023 WRX. And this will be the final part in order to fully upgrade to stage 2 from Cobb. In my previous videos, I replaced the intercooler along with the shroud and intake pipe. And now, to finish off, we'll be replacing the charge pipe. So without further ado, let's begin. We'll begin by removing our intake tunnel here and by simply popping out this clip here and here and you can either use a dedicated uh, prying tool for it or something like, like a flathead to just gently pop this out of place and pull it out like so all right with both of them taken out this should just simply lift out There we go. All right, and now we're gonna remove our radiator fan right here. In order to do so, we'll first begin to unplug its connections. As you can see here, we have two that we can remove here, right below it here. These two, basically. And one more right there, if you can see that in the camera. Down here, where I'm touching. Remove these three, and we should be good to go. And to do so, you can just simply just apply some pressure up here like so, and it should just let you pull it right out. There we go. With, with enough pressure, you should just be able to pull it out like so. So that's one. We get our second one right here, and our third one down here. Okay, and there we go. As you can see, we have our three connectors here uh, removed. And just one piece of advice, do make sure you take your time pulling these out because you got to press down on these top tabs on each one and they do take a considerable amount of force in order to firmly press down and pull out. What I had to do with some of these is I used um, like a small screwdriver or something as like additional leverage to help apply more force like so and be able to uh, pull that out. But again, just be gentle and be careful with our connectors removed. Now we just gotta take out these two uh, bolts using a 10 millimeter socket. So we'll do that and I'll be right back. With our two bolts removed, we should now be able to just carefully and gently take out this whole fan assembly. And it's alright if you uh, gently push on your radiator hose here, just to make sure your whole fan fully comes out, like so. Now with the fan out of the way, we're now going to begin to remove the clips that connect our charge pipe onto our intercooler here and turbo down there. As you can see that metallic spring and one up here as well. To remove these clips all you need is a simple uh, flathead tool like so and just gently pry them open. I'll do the top one here as an example. There's one. And two. And now for the bottom clip down here on our turbo side, which I am pointing to both sides, and I'll zoom in. Similar thing, just gently pry that open. There we go. And our next step, we're gonna remove this 12 millimeter bolt right here that connects to our charge pipe. And then we're almost done. Okay. Using a simple wrench and a 12 millimeter, I was able to pry this open. And now it's just come off by hand. There we go. And now lastly, if we unloosen this clamp over here that connects our charge pipe to our intercooler, we should be able to remove the entire charge pipe assembly. 
And you can either use a, uh, just a simple flathead or an 8mm socket. Okay, with the charge pipe removed, we just gotta take out one more thing, and that's our coupler down here, in order to make the reinstallation of the new charge pipe easier. So we can remove this uh, coupler here, and we can just unloosen the rear clamp, and we should be able to take out that whole uh, rubber coupler. Okay, with both our clamps here unloosened, we should just pull this out, and we're good to go. All right, with our original charge pipe removed, we can put that away, along with the plastic coupler we took off. And we'll begin a quick pre-assembly of our new Cobb charge pipe. Alrighty, inside our Cobb goodie bag here, we have uh, three parts. We got a new uh, Cobb retainer clamp. Looks very nice. We got ourselves a O-ring that'll go onto our charge pipe on the turbo side. And some lubricant that we're going to apply very liberally all around our O-ring here. And then after that, that O-ring is going to go on the bottom side here turbo side of our charge pipe along the groove there as you can see that all around so we'll apply the lube and get this done okay here's a lube right here we're gonna go and open this should be simple enough yeah it squirts out now we're gonna just add this all around our o-ring get someone a little dab on our finger Begin smearing that across. Might as well use up all of it. There we go. The more, the better. There we go. That's nice and uh, lubed up. And we'll go ahead and get that installed. All right. And as you can see here, our new O-ring is fully seated. And now on our intercooler side of the charge pipe, the top side. We're gonna go ahead and start adding our cob rubber coupler. Remove the clamps for now, just to make the uh, assembly easier. And we're gonna slide that all the way in at the moment. Yeah, like so. And I will add our two clamps back on. Just make sure they're very loosely fitted for now. And I will begin to install our cob pipe. We'll begin from the turbo side. So your bottom there will go into that turbo opening there. And you sh it should just slide in. Kind of like so. Make sure you're like in the right angle position. And then you just press firmly to ensure that the O-ring sits fully. And now with our Cobb charge pipe fully inserted on the turbo side, we can grab our 12 millimeter bolt that we took out from this bracket and just begin to loosely pre-assemble it, but not fully. Like so. So we still have some wiggle room. And now we just need to slide this portion of our coupler onto our intercooler. With our cob coupler fully inserted, we can uh, position the clamps over him, but just leave them loose for now. We'll tighten these at the end. And now we'll begin to install our retainer clamp down on the bottom of the turbo side. Like so. If I can show you here. Should more or less go right there in that position. And then just fully insert all the way in. If you're having trouble, you can use an extension bar for a 3 8 um, socket like so. And it can be inserted right in the square section. Just to give it a little bit more uh, leverage to reach. And also this clamp, you can install it on either side. Either this way or this way. 
as the ball detent goes in either way, so won't be a problem. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. And there we go, it's fully inserted, as you can see. If you're having trouble fitting this in, it, like what happened to me, it probably means your pipe still isn't fully inserted, so just give it a nice push down, and it should make installing this pretty easy. And now with a retainer clamp installed on the bottom side, give this a nice good wiggle, and make sure it doesn't move out of place. Right, since everything looks good here, we can go ahead and begin to tighten down or not by the bracket right there. There we go, with our bolt fully tightened down and the clip on the bottom fully installed. We're gonna go to a coupler side, make sure that's uh, fully inserted. If not, just go ahead and slide it more. And then we can just go ahead and begin to tighten down these clamps right here. And we're all done with the in installation. Next up will just be to reinstall back our fan and then our air tunnel. Okay, with my clamps uh, nice and tight right there, we'll begin to reinsert our fan in this orientation here. And just make sure that when you sit this at the bottom, you'll see that there's a stub, like a little leg stub here and there. Make sure those line up and insert into the respective holes right there and there. And now with our fan fully seated in place, we can just simply line this up back to the nut where our bolts go in and reinstall these from both sides. And now to finish off our fan installation, we just simply plug our connectors where they belong, including the bottom one down here. It should be pretty easy at this point. It's just slide in. That's one. This one here goes at the bottom there. Let's get that lined up. Two and three. There we go. They're all nice and snug. And to finish off, we'll reattach our air tunnel by just simply sitting it down into our airbox there, getting this lined up, there we go, and adding our body panel clips back on. That's one, and and that's two. That's fully inserted. And there we have it folks. We have officially upgraded to Cobb Stage 2, which included our intercooler along with the shroud, our new intake pipe, and now our new charge pipe. Ain't that a beauty? I want to thank you all for watching my Cobb installation tutorials. In the description below, I'll have a link for part one for the intercooler and shroud, and a link for part two for our intake pipe and part three being the charge pipe we just installed. Funny enough, I think this was the easiest to do out of all the other parts. It required the least labor and least amount of work. Only real tough part is, man, getting those clips removed can be a real pain in the butt. So just take your time and, and be very careful with it. Aside from that, I believe really all of this is relatively straightforward, so. If you're interested in going to Cop Stage 2 yourself, I'm glad I can be of help. If you guys have any comments or questions or even concerns, just feel free to leave them below and I'll make sure to respond. And aside from that, uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.